Yeah, I just noticed this a day later. Things are a little damp down in here. You can see the staining up there. So I think we're going to need to put a heater core in this car. The first step for core replacement, drain the coolant below the level of the core. As you can see here, thanks to the leaking core, our coolant has already drained out. The heater hoses are accessible from above at the firewall, although we'll need to hold back some of the wires, and then we'll also have to remove the coil. After unplugging these wires, I tuck them behind the cover here, so that way we'll have some more access and they'll stay out of the way. Now we'll be able to get to that rear bolt and remove the coil. Using our decorative Harbor Freight bungee cord, we can hold back these wires for clear access. The best method I find is using a socket with a universal for removing the hose clamps. To break the hoses loose, I use channel lock pliers. If you're reusing a core, instead, use a hose pick to avoid damage to the core. Now we move inside the car. First, we'll remove the lower dash cover. Next, we have to remove the DERM module so we can access the bolt that will be on the top of the heater core case. If you need to unplug the DERM module, the manual states you must disconnect the battery and pull the SIR fuse. In my case, I left it connected and just used another bungee cord to hold it out of the way. I use two extensions and a universal to access the bolt on the top of the case. We now remove the rest of the case bolts. Put that to my way. So, there is one I missed. There's a bolt at the top corner. You'll need to loosen these items so you can get access.
mouse poop. Remove the four bolts securing the core to the case. There it is. That really needs some cleaning. With the core removed, let's compare it to our replacement. Remove this hole down. The other side would just need to loosen the bolts on either end. Then we can slide the heater core from the holder. Now is a good time to clean these parts up, including the case. Now we do the reverse. Slide in the core, add the hold down, and then tighten all three bolts. Notice I covered the holes with tape to prevent any dirt from getting inside the core. Be patient and very careful as you install the core into the box. You'll need to feed the tubes through the holes in the firewall. lined up but apparently I'm stuck on the door <sighs> I wound up partially removing the core to clear the blend door okay looks like everything's gonna line up blend doors moving reinstall the four bolts that secure the core to the box. These back two screws are impossible to do by hand. My socket isn't magnetized so I use strip caulk to hold the screw in the socket. Thank you. 
Before reinstalling the case cover, I use strip caulk to hold the top bolt in place. After tightening all case bolts, tuck these wires back up behind the dash. Back under the hood, remove the tape covering. Next, we slide the hoses on the new core and tighten the hose clamps. Now we can reinstall the coil. Next, we'll fish those wires back out from hiding and reconnect. One thing I want to do before adding coolant, I want to get rid of this ugly flex hose. The replacement is mostly correct. We're just going to need to do a little bit of trimming. 
quick check after modifying. We'll need to clean up that corrosion before installing the new hose. I'm using new clamps as the other ones were oversized. I'm going to trim that. It's sticking up too much. Now we're ready to add coolant. I keep a rag around the neck to catch any spillage. You'll notice air escaping. To purge the system, we'll add to the overflow bottle. Then we'll run it through a heat cycle, check for leaks. Through this process, it should push air out into the overflow. As it cools, it'll pull the overflow coolant back into the radiator. I didn't show any video of the heat cycle leak check. Uh, what I'm doing here is just doing a check after a couple hours after everything had cooled down. Um, I usually like to do this after doing the cycle of both hot and then after cooling down and sitting for a while just to make sure that we don't have any leaks anywhere. So after this cool down, we'll check the uh, coolant level. And as you can see, it's sitting right where it should. The bottle, on the other hand, is now again empty. As I predicted, it pulled from the bottle and uh, topped off the radiator, which purged the air out of the system. So now we'll just top the bottle to the cold line. Well, this really wasn't that bad of a job, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I've done some vehicles in the past, like I think the first gen uh, S10s, uh, this was many years ago, but if I recall, I had to unbolt the dash and literally pulled away to, uh, um, to get to the heater core. So this was not anywhere like that. So uh, really not too bad of a job. Had the carpet out of the car and the passenger seat out of the car helped to give me a little bit more access. But uh, I don't think it's absolutely necessary that you're going to have to do that. Uh, the dash pad was off of this car, which really didn't provide any access to the heater core, so just be aware of that you wouldn't have to uh, consider that as a possible option. Um, the old radiator core, I mean, I suppose if you really wanted to, you could probably find a rad shop that uh, could repair it. Uh, this one, I, it's a little difficult to see with the seams, if it's, if it's around the seam of the pipe or um, it might be somewhere else. There's just a lot of staining that's on here, but uh, really that core that I got really didn't fit bad it was only off by a little bit and um, for the price I mean it was under 50 bucks uh, to me that just made sense to go ahead and buy a new one so that is all for this video 
Hopefully you got a few things out of this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. You can follow us on Instagram as well. I usually let you know when uh, something new is coming up. And I'm going to try to use Instagram a little bit more and kind of give you a sneak peek of different things that I'm working on at the time.